Welcome, people. Ah, uh, like with crab and Dratini. In reality, you could not catch a pearl on a fishing lure. Well, unless you got stuck between the hook. Where'd my styles go? Oh well, I'll find it later. been trying to catch Dratini since the last video for about an hour. It is now 4.11. So, I don't know if there's like a specific time of day to catch him. But this is where you catch him. So, the easiest way to get here would be just to simply put. And the one thing I hate about this is, like, in Pokemon Heart of Gold, which is the only, one of the only other Pokemon games I've ever played, you could see exactly where you were on the things. Yeah, go to the top one and just walk outside. Alright, now I'm going to show you. In here, this is supposed to be where you can catch Chromo. Or whatever his name is. I will be going to run around in here and if I have another honey jar I'm going to use it. I found the never melt ice in the that ca the, the cave system. On it, where you get to uh, Kala Island, to Kala Bay. I got the, I just got the float stone here, the, about a few hours ago. But I don't remember where where I got it. I swear I had a honey jar. I don't know why I'm getting all these bears. I haven't been doing anything. Yeah. Did, because I already had this, the prison bottle, I couldn't get Hoopa. And if anyone knows what... This is used for the 
Graciada or whatever. Yeah. This uh, it the sun's shining right on my game, so this thing right there. It's like I don't know what it's for. I, I don't know if I had just haven't. I got it in the post game. I probably should have gotten it in the in like during the game, but I didn't. So, yeah. And it has the option to use this item. I don't know. Like I can use it on my on my Pokemon. I don't know why. See, it won't have any effect. What? I'm gonna have to look it up between the video, and I'll I'll get back to you. But I don't know what you can use it for. Like, you can use the DN DNA splices on a Pokemon, but unless they, if this must like open up like a Pokemon's power or something. I don't know. I don't flipping know. Yeah, but in the uh. Yeah, this is the sun that's supposed to evolve what whatever it is into Rayquaza. I've got several moonstones and sunstones and leaf stones. Yeah, but you tell me. I would I it'd be cool if there was like a little a little like you know those caves you crawl through like right here? You go in and there's like a secret area where there's like a bunch of wild Pokemon just walking around. And you're like visible and you can't catch them. You can just like look at them and like scan them for your Pokedex and stuff. That, that would be cool. And there was an area in one of the Pokemon games that was like that. That would be freaking cool. Anyway, to get to where you get to you just walk outside of this long cave. It was, long, it was longer than I thought it was. Walk out. Walk down here. And into there. I never knew. I just I knew you can crawl under them. I just never bothered. Because I thought, oh, there's just going to be like a TM or an item there. Well. And it's, it was a lot easier than I thought it was to do. I, mean, I made it like all complicated and everything like that. I'm like, Ugh. well, I'll just go in here. I'm like, oh, there's an area. Oh my god, you can go through there. And, and I got to thinking, what if you could do multiplayer on um, a Pokemon game, like, like how you can do, like how in Animal Crossing you have multiplayer, where you can see other characters. That would be cool. Now I know you can see the characters in the. Um, in the Poka Plaza, or Festival Plaza, but if you could see them walking around, like, battling Pokemon, that would be cool. Like, if you could go on a server, like in Minecraft, but for, for a Pokemon, and, like, there'd be, like, an option to do, like, uh, global play. Where people can like challenge you to Pokemon battles or trade and trade with you like that. I think that that would be really, really neat. And if possible, the, the developers should do something like that. But other than that, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't like how you can't fly in the cave. Uh, yeah, it's logical, but and I don't like how they took out the the I uh, I think the ride Pokemon are really cool. Don't get me wrong, they're cool, but the fact that they took away the ability to, for your Pokemon to walk behind you that I was I was really excited to see the legendaries w walking behind me. Count Sam Weird, whatever. That's the one thing I, I really enjoy was seeing how, like the size comparisons of the people with the Pokemon in the game.
I'll probably go and play Pokemon Gold and make a, a few video or two on that. Like, showing what I liked about it compared to Sun. Uh, anyway. I, I know I talked about this like in a previous video, but I didn't actually talk about it. But people have like asked me how I got my Pokemon at such powerful levels. Well, I, I mentioned that the people have asked me that, but I didn't say what I do. I, I started going into detail about it, but then I, I just went to go get Dratini. Well, I go up here. And honestly, there's only one patch of grass I go through, because that's where all the level 50s are. The other ones are like level, like, lower 50s, but these ones are like 56 at times. I found a level 60 in here the one day. But this patch of grass, I just, I just walk through. I've sat here for about five hours total just battling Pokemon. See? I'm gonna have to turn. <laughs> Cause that sun is right in the way. Oi. Oi, man. Yeah, it's a little bit better. I know I should probably have this sort of like all set up before I do a video, but it's just ugh. like he's level 59. Normally I would have caught him and just wonder traded him, but who really wants a Pelipper? There's one of the most common Pokemon to find. And I found that Yongoose, the evolutions of Yongoose, like Gumshoes or, and Yongoose, along with Zubat and Golbat, are the four most common Pokemon. See, I will take a level 1 Pokemon and I will come here. And after three battles, it's level 30 something, if not 40. But one Pokemon was. My, I don't remember which one it was, but it was level 41 after two battles. And another one was only like level 20 after three battles. I was like, oh why? And I realized, the Pokemon level up differently. <laughs> You don't mind the pizza box in the background, I was just having lunch. Okay. Don't know how a gumshoes killed me. Well, it is level 50 something, and I'm only level 40 something. Run. Oh. It's a mo- I'm gonna go get Dark Prince. I'm gonna say, if you can't let me get away, I'm going to freaking quit the game. To the Invincible Poke Center! Yeah, but anyway, I went- I should probably turn the gamma down. I should yeah, but I, I either go and do this or I go to the Elite Four. <laughs> but I found method one, which is just battling random Pokemon. 
it works better for leveling Necromza in the others. Where did that stylus go? Okay, so he's gonna evolve here in 90 some experience. Ay, 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 ay. Like I've said in the past, I wish there was like an option to like an ability like to go through and rechallenge like the people, like the NPCs to another Pokemon battle, but like their levels be like the same as yours or whatever, like that would be awesome. Out of all of my the Pokemon in this in this new in this generation, I think the Chromza is either my favorite or definitely my top my, my top favorite. Come on, somebody evolve! Oy. Yeah, someone would have evolved. I think I think I get like a thousand experience every time I, I kill one of these guys. I'll have to look this time. Yeah, but somebody actually found a shiny Necromza. It's blue. It's like more blue than it is black. I I was like I was looking at Necromza. Like shiny legendaries and that look and see what all they look like. And I, there's a bunch of Necromes, so I'm just in there like looking. And it says, and I'm like, wait, what was that? That was blue. That wasn't black. That was blue. Yeah, but that was the only picture of one I ever have ever seen. It was blue. It was like more of black blue, blackish bluish. Well, and the Chromes is getting ready to level up again. Yeah, in Pokemon Gold, I actually got to a point where I couldn't. My my Pokemon, my Pokemon were like in the level nineties. I couldn't see the bar. I was getting like a thousand experience per time. I couldn't see the bar move. It was insane. I literally went and beat the Elite Four like five times in one day and only leveled my starter once. Yeah, I get 1,190 experience. 49. Somebody's gonna have to evolve soon. Come on, somebody learn evolve soon. 
I've got a lot of you to evolve, so hurry up and evolve. Yes! Finally, I can get rid of him. I can finally set him free. Um, that's one thing that I liked in Goal. That you could... I think you can do it in every version, but you, you could set your Pokemon loose. You could like, release them back into the wild or whatever. And... Uh, my, I went to release my starter. I, I did it on complete accident, and it said, Aw, looks like da 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 doesn't want to leave you. He's happy with you, and I'm like, wow, that's cool. I said that I literally, for like, an hour to sing, release, 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 <laughs> and it would not leave. And... I went to release my weakest Pokemon and it said, it doesn't want to leave. So I released my second weakest, which I had had since the beginning of the game, and it went willingly. And it was what I used, like, all the time. I played with it and everything like that. And it just left. I was so upset. Like, I thought you loved me. Now to get rid of... I, I actually don't know if you can release them in this one. But if I can't, I'm, I'm releasing this thing. I don't, I don't want it. I had so many tentacles and tentacruels in my other games that I couldn't get rid of them fast enough. But in this one, I've never I beat the game without ever seeing a tentacle, and I did a lot of stuff on the waters. Well, to be honest, in Pokemon Gold, there's a lot more swimming. And but water crossing than there is in Sun or Moon. There isn't many lakes, and and you could fish I think anywhere in Gold. Like, you just go up to the water and just throw your line in. You didn't need a special spot. Yeah, right here. Release. Yay, Tentacruel was released. I'm gonna go evolve this guy. My tent dude. I'm going to evolve him, and then I'm going to end the video. Yeah, but this is what I do for hours on end. I just level Pokemon. Like, I will take level 1s. I will just sit there and level them. I literally took, like, the one dude leveled up 20 levels after just fighting a level 30. It was insane. Ugh. My room's a mess. It was weird, because in, in Heart of Gold, there was one area, which I found one time and I could never find again. It was an area full of double battles. All, whenever you ran into a Pokemon, there was always two. Like, it was like a male and a female. All the time. All different species and everything. It was so weird. Yes, I knew he was going to evolve. Let's see if anyone other evolved, evolved before I just end this video. It looks weird in the video.
Okay, well, I'm gonna, well, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully I'll have found my stylist. Bye-bye.